Welcome to ViewChem, the Chemistry Animations channel, Emulsion Polymerization. Based on the particle size, addition of the emulsifying, or stabilizing reagent, the polymerization process can be classified in two emulsion polymerization and suspension polymerization. Emulsion it is a mixture of two immiscible liquids, in which one liquid is dispersed, in other. The particle sizes of emulsions range between 10 to the power of minus 7 centimeters to 10 to the power of minus 5 centimeters. For example, milk, fat dispersed in water. Formation of emulsion. We know that, oil and water will not mix. On stirring, oil droplets disperse in water for a short period, but, again unite to form oil layer. To prevent the reunion of oil droplets, an emulsifier, made up of hydrophilic polar head and hydrophobic non-polar tail, is added. Then, the emulsion is stabilized, due to the formation of micelles. Suspension, it is a heterogeneous mixture of two immiscible phases. A solid phase, suspended in a liquid, constitutes the suspension. Larger solid particles are dispersed, in the dispersion medium, liquid. The solid particle are large enough, to settle at the bottom, sedimentation. The particle sizes of suspensions of will be above 10 to the power of minus 5 centimeters. Example, mud, in water. formation of suspension to the water if mud is added and stirred after some time the mud gets settled at the bottom forming the suspension the components of the suspension can be easily separated by simple filtration, due to their larger size. But, owing to the small size of dispersed particles, it is not easy to separate the components of emulsion. To carry out emulsion polymerization, a water insoluble monomer, surfactant, containing both hydrophilic and hydrophobic groups, soluble substances that can generate free radicals, and solvent water, are required. Actually, emulsion polymerization is a type of free radical polymerization. In the emulsion polymerization, the emulsion comprises of a water insoluble monomer, oil, as the surfactant, and the free radical initiators, like organic peroxides or peracids. When the surfactant is added to water, after attaining critical micellar concentration, micelles are formed. Emulsion polymerization takes place above the critical micellar concentration. It is relatively faster process, involving the formation of pure and high molecular weight polymer. In the emulsion polymerization, the surface area of the micelle is more than the surface area of the monomer droplet. Hence, polymerization occurs on the micelle. Emulsion Polymerization Emulsion is a fine dispersion of two immiscible liquids. For example, into a beaker containing water. Certain amount of oil is added. The mixture is stirred. As a result an emulsion is formed. To carry out emulsion polymerization into a beaker water is taken an emulsifier and water insoluble monomer 
are added to water and subjected for heating with stirring. Then there forms an emulsion in which water and soluble monomer droplets are dispersed. The emulsifier, that is the surfactant molecule contains a hydrophilic polar head and hydrophobic nonpolar hydrocarbon tail. When the concentration of surfactant reaches certain level, they aggregate to form a micelle. The monomer droplet containing several monomer molecules is surrounded by the micelle. At this juncture, water-soluble free radical initiator is added. The free radical initiator undergoes thermal decomposition and generates free radicals. This free radical enters the monomer droplet to initiate the polymerization. The free radical forms a bond with a monomer and generates another free radical. This free radical again forms a bond with another monomer and generates a new free radical. In this manner chain propagates. When a polymer is formed the reaction is terminated and the polymer comes out. Thanks for watching. Please, like, subscribe and share.